dude, you need to go to therapy. You, 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 you might even need to be locked up. Okay. I'm, I'm just saying that is like some fucking scary level psychological shit. You're fucked in the head. Seriously. If you're that girl's family, you better beware. Like that girl's unstable. I'm not even kidding. Hey bitch. What's up? What's up? First of all, happy end of the month, bitch. We're gonna be reacting to what people tag me in on TikTok. Now, I have a TikTok account, but I rarely ever use it because people on TikTok just annoy the fuck out of me, dude. I can't even explain how annoying people on TikTok are. Literally like, thank you, Monty, so much for joining us. Literally the only person on TikTok that I follow is Shelby Dennis. I think that's, I think she's literally the only person I follow on TikTok. Everything else on TikTok is just people trying to post stuff to go viral, people trying to post stuff to get attention uh, or to get followers or they way over sexualize their writing. Like I've seen a lot of girls not trying to point fingers, but they literally post videos of themselves on TikTok, like half naked around horses for attention. So today, that's what we're gonna do. We gotta go on the dreaded TikTok app that's buried in my phone. Seriously, I think I have it behind multiple windows in little folders because I just never use it. But before we get into this video, you guys, just a friendly reminder, you guys still have two days left to enter the raffle giveaway to win my Schleza CHB 17 inch, fully customizable dressage saddle. I'm shipping it anywhere in the world and outer space if you happen to be a fucking alien. Um, please enter, actually, if you're an alien. I'm really looking to leave. Not a cry for help, but maybe it is. Also, if you guys want to support me, uh, definitely check out Link Equestrian or join YouTube members or Patreon for extra content. Consider supporting me over there. All right, love you. Let's get to it. Other people, why don't you start your own cults anymore? Great. Well, most people do start their own cults and it looks nothing like that. So <laughs> this is something that annoys me so much is TikTok gives so much attention to people who post just dumb content. And a lot of people will look at this and be like, wow, what a good trainer. Wow, this person really knows what they're doing. But they don't. If you're training a horse and it looks like that, you're doing it wrong. No one who's breaking in a horse and putting a saddle on a colt or a filly for the first time starting a horse, it should never look like that, ever. Your horse should be used to and desensitized to the saddle by the time you actually start doing saddle training with the animal. It's one thing if it's the very first time and you're you're just doing some weight training with the horse, put it on, take it off, maybe the horse freaks a little bit. But if your horse is not used to a saddle, you don't just throw a saddle on them and strap it down really tight. I mean, honestly, fuck you. That's a really shitty thing to do because you're just going to put your horse in a panic mode. And then he's videotaping it, thinking it's funny, thinking it's cool. No, your horse could easily get injured this way. Your horse could easily have like a serious break, a serious tear, um, psychological stress or damage from doing this. And this is just such irresponsible horsemanship. And I don't even want to call it training because it's not. That's like the laziest shit you could ever do is just throw a saddle on and strap it down and let a horse go run around. You're not desensitizing the horse to the saddle. You're actually teaching it to be afraid of the saddle. You're literally just doing what's called flooding, which is where you just wear the horse out so much to the point where they just end up accepting it, which is not a training method. I mean, there's so many studies going over the psychological effects of flooding horses and flooding other animals training wise, and it doesn't work. And you don't teach the horse anything. And the horse is always going to have serious issues later on because of stupid training like this. This is literally just like clearance aisle Walmart level training, if you can even call it that. I mean, it's on the clearance aisle for a reason, okay? Because they're getting rid of it. It's outdated. Bye. Come on, Harper, you can do it. 
<laughs> oh, God. You know, I, I honestly don't have a problem with that. I would so much rather see adults having fun with their minis than see them actually riding. You know, as you can see in the video, the guy's not actually sitting down on the miniature horse. He's, like, running with it. There's plenty of room between the horse and his crotch, which is why the horse is bucking. But I would so much rather see this than see someone actually trying to ride a miniature horse. And usually you see that a lot with kids especially. And parents really need to be better parents. You need to teach your kids about the biomechanics of animals and their musculoskeletal systems, how they function, how they work, how they move. If you're going to have them as pets, even your dogs and your cats, kids need to be responsible around pets. So that way it prevents your kids from getting hurt and it prevents your animals from getting hurt. And I've seen a lot of parents who think it's funny and who think it's cute to put their kids on miniature horses where they're clearly way too big to ride them. And it's irresponsible parenting. It's obviously not the child's fault. It's the fucking parent's fault. You know better. So I just want to say this in no way is bullying because I actually reached out to this creator and they had no problem with what they had been doing and completely justified everything. Um, so if you're on Horse Talk, you've probably seen this creator. Um, from what I can see, she's a horse trainer and does like breaking and uh, barrel racing. One of her videos. On a light mount horse, like my gray horse, I don't need a bit that's super heavy. And where the. Okay, so your gray horse has a light mouth. Um, it looks like a beautiful horse, actually. Uh, why don't you post the videos of what you actually do to your horses? You're not going to? Um, I don't think so. Uh, I will, though. That is so psycho. Oh my God. First of all, love a good exposed video. Thank you so much for that. Can we talk about how fucking crazy you are if you're yelling and screaming at your horse? You're crazy. I, I, I honestly think that when you see people who are talking to their horses in an angry way, as if their horse understands them, you're psychotic. Those are some of the most scary, crazy individuals I've ever seen in the horse world are girls like that, that chase their horses around yelling and screaming at them and actually talking to them in an aggressive manner. Your horse doesn't fucking understand you. And also your horse is terrified of you, which is why he's backing away from you because you're fucking scary. <laughs> Let me show you. If you want to walk away, I'll give you a reason to walk away. Like, bro, are you a domestic violence abuser or something? Because I fear for your boyfriend. That shit is fucking scary. When you see someone who's like, I'll give you a reason to be afraid of me. Dude, you need to go to therapy. You, 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 you might even need to be locked up, okay? I'm, I'm just saying, that is like some fucking scary level psychological shit. You're fucked in the head. If you're chasing an animal, screaming and yelling at them like that, seriously, if you're that girl's family, you better beware. Like, that girl's unstable. I'm not even kidding. Normal people don't just lose their shit and start yelling and screaming at their horses and chasing them around an arena, yelling at them. Crazy. I'm gonna make a video on barrel racing, like a whole dedicated video to barrel racing and why it's horrible and just the, the mentality behind barrel racing that I think is toxic in a couple weeks. I think my barrel racing video is coming out in a couple weeks. It's, it's very much like the saddle seat video that I made. 
the reason I'm making it is because I used to barrel race and I know how toxic barrel racers are. And the mentality behind barrel racing is just disgusting. You know, it, it's teaching women to be just these dominating, aggressive figures over their horses and barrel horses are always off balance they always have a lack of training they're always hollow i i've honestly in my entire life only come across four barrel racers that actually have good horses that actually have horses with top line that don't just run their horses around in circles that don't starfish kick the horses or whip them or yank them around until the horse is fucking crazy in the head honestly barrel racers just suck in general they treat their horses like shit and the mentality behind barrel racing and barrel racers is toxic so stay tuned for my video on that <laughs> a female queen's guard shouts get off the rain at a tourist Oh my god, what a queen. The lady's reaction. <laughs> Honestly, good. Good for her. I'm so glad that she yelled at that woman. I mean, seriously, first of all, the fact that people just feel so entitled to just walk up to other people and their animals and start touching and petting them. Fuck you, dude. I mean, people just have to touch everything. And it's one of the most obnoxious, annoying things that I've ever seen, especially with tourists. You don't have to touch everyone's animals. You don't have to walk up to everyone's dog and pet it. You don't have to walk up to everyone's horse and ask for photos. And, and all these tourists that are standing there, clearly the horse is agitated and doesn't want these people coming up to it. I mean, honestly, if I was the, the guard, I would have just been like, no pictures, like leave us alone. We're here to do a fucking job. It's it's her own personal space and it's her own horse and if someone walked up to me and grabbed the reins of my horse Yeah, I'd have a problem with that. I'd have a serious problem if someone walked up and grabbed the reins. So good for her Good for her. Oh, love it. Anyway guys, that is it for today's video. Wow There was actually a lot that we covered in a short period of time, but Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you had a good day. I hope you had a great, great week. And I'm so excited to see you guys in my next video. Bye.